Welcome to Michael's back. Hey, we are in San Diego. This is the crew. There. It's early. Someone, some one of us, someone doesn't care. Uh, here's the best Pokemon nails. Oh, yeah, we got good nails. We got the airport. It's nice. Good job, San Diego. Then again, I've only had three airports, so I've not much to compare it to. But we're here. It's early. It's sunny looking, but I think it's really cold. And we are going to totally get footage this time. We're not going to forget. We're not going to get this one and then forget the rest of the trip. We're totally going to remember because that's something to help remind me. All right. That's it for now. Put the choice helmet on ADP, discarded the Luke medal, put the chaotic swell out, and used, used Mahalo to find the. Use oh. Energy. Choice helmet's smart. I realize that now. Um. For someone's kind of smart because in the UK you get one try to buy a Charizard GX. But we are at the Airbnb. Um, totally, then just just arrived. Haven't been here all for a day. Just you know, just here. Um, no, it's the morning before San Diego. Um, the lighting is not great, but this house is really cute. It's a cozy little Airbnb. Everyone is here, all getting ready. Saying Cody, get out of my way. But so what we got, we got Omnipoke on the TV, and we got just enough space for five people, just barely, rubbing elbows, um, but it's a good little place, we got a nice little driveway to park, and we have a bunch of restaurants close by, and I'm too tired for commentary, so that's all you get, let's go win. All right, we are here at the convention center. I got the team with me. I'll cut you out if you want to be in this. Nope, I'm in it. Okay, you're I'm in, all the, in. I think you're in the other videos actually. So <laughs> we got a serving Oshawott plushie from the vendor. The price tag is there, so you can see how much I spent. Uh, it's totally worth it. Um, this is the venue. It's pretty well sized. A lot of people, so can't complain. It's a little hot, but I'm always been hot. But um, yeah, we got some more vendors. I just stopped the first vendor I saw and saw this and said yes, please. So, um, it's a pretty good looking time. We're gonna have fun, we're all gonna go 7-0. And then, <laughs> easy peasy. All right, well, we're gonna film, this is not it. We're gonna film all day, between every round or every other round. We're not gonna forget and film 30 seconds like we did in Portland. All right, late. All right, we're gonna keep rolling with some footage so we can keep, um, just have some stuff to film. I don't really know what I'm saying, um, but here we are. We're still beginning of our uh, event here at San Diego um, Convention Center for the San Diego um, Regionals for TCG. Um, we are getting ready. Should be starting in a half an hour or so. We went to our vendors. Um, we also got some Shorten and Shield um, Japanese packs that I already put them away, so I'm not filming it, but I'll make a video of that, of course. Um, but the vendors were all right. There's a good amount of people here, 450 masters, something like that. Um, Convention Center is nice and tidy. It's kind of a little different compared to Portland. Um, it's not, not as, Portland's a much more windy. Um, this is kind of just kind of straight and flat, but um, it's really hot, so we just kind of came out here and we'll get a little bit of footage. Uh, there's uh, Wheat San Diego, not so sunny right now, but um, whew, we are super awake and ready for the day, and we're going to all win. This is the pre-winning uh, video, so let's get to it. <laughs> all right, round one. Um, we have the one oh, we played the mirror. Um, Kind of the mirror. Um, he, I'm playing, I guess as far as the video I said, uh, I am playing um, Mewtwo Mew tag team um, with heavy rainbows um, and Bruce Mahala. Um, so, kind of the mirror. He was playing the more um, varied energy version with like psychic and water energies. Um, we won one rainbow. Um, so, some similar ish, similar enough, but anyway, we did get the win. His name is Tyler. Very nice guy. Um, we were able to get the 2 0. Um, just ran really well. We were able to weld there every turn, every, basically every turn, and I don't think he was able to weld there once in both turns. And that's kind of um, really big in that match. So, we are looking pretty. Um, San Diego is looking a little rainy, but I am 
from the Pacific Northwest, so I'm okay with this. This is home for me. So let's um, keep it going. Um, we are remembering to actually video, so so far so good. Uh, let's go round two. Dude, there was like five right. baby bounds. Uh, I was like, I dodged those bullets. We will start you I was afraid because I saw an egg tag and I'm like, crap. After the bounce, it's round three. Alright, we're gonna do an announcement. Come on. As soon as I start filming, he starts talking. He's pointing at you or me. That's part of me. You're good. I know you don't like being on camera, so. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Ah, fair. All right, now we can talk. Uh, just finished uh, round two. We are 2-0 against the uh, Bita Naga Lord, a really nice guy. I forgot his name, sorry. But um, super nice, chill guy. Um, we got a little bit of people. We got Peter here with us. Hey, Peter. How you hey, doing? Doing good. If you can uh, beat Neg Negweg with uh, Green's Breakzard. <laughs> Breaks I don't like break the name. Breakzard doesn't sound. Like, Breakzard has like sound. a flow to it. Breakzard, Breakzard is like... Is like uh, <laughs> But, I mean, that's, I mean, what that's it is. the best thing you can do. But anyway, we're doing good. We got a couple of people somewhere scattered, but um, here comes Trish. Trish is coming back. But yeah, um, we're gonna every round we're gonna remember because we're not doing Portland again. So far, so good. Um, but yeah, two zero, hoping to keep it up and not play mean good players. <laughs> good players, fine. Not mean good players. I had a nice All right. good player. Late. All right, we are skipping a couple. Of skipped a round. We are um, post round four. It's lunch time. Um, thank goodness. Um, it's like two o'clock, so it's a, a later lunch for regionals. But it's okay. Um, we sit at two one one. We lost round three against um, uh, Dostal, and hopefully it's the only Dostal we we'll hit today. So the deck is the worst. And if you play it, you're a bad person. You're not a bad person. <laughs> Disclaimer. But I don't like stall. Uh, round two, we hit a baby blounds, and we forced a tie. So that's okay. He was a really nice guy. Um, we were able to go 1-1 one, one, and then agreed on the tie. So, um, how are we doing, Trisha? Um, I am 2-2. Two and two. I just lost to a spider that prevents fire damage, and I weldered to Pidgey multiple times. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, a raquinid. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. Literally, you, if they set it up, you just lose. Yeah. You have to try to kill the babies before they evolve. But it's yeah, pretty hard. Yeah, I, I only have great catchers for Gus. Yeah, so oh, yeah. That's true. I can't. That. Yeah, so we're gonna go with some food. There's some food trucks somewhere around here, um, and we're still in okay shape. And morale's morale's good so yeah, far, so good. good. Everyone I played good. is nice. Yeah. No, no, no mean people. No mean people. So far, not naming any names, but I know you're here, Mister Mister. <laughs> All right. Not that you're watching this, but you do because you follow. Because we're eternal rivals, and you are always thinking about me. I know. All right. Later. All right, yo. We are chilling at the end of round six. Round six is over. Three rounds to go. It's dark outside all of a sudden. I don't know what time it is. Like five, past five. Anyway, that just got really dark. Anyway, anyway. Um, I'm super kind of tired. Um, we are looking at three, two, one. Nice little countdown, but that is not my signature uh, opening. Um, that is my record. So we are doing all right. Um, we gotta. If we want to try to hit the 128, um, we gotta win out. Um, if we want to get the other two, um, if we want 128, we need to go 2 1. So, we are going to hopefully do either of those things. Um, but I played a ADP a player. Um, generally, I think the matchup's alright. Um, but they can just keep hitting them all along those and just hit better than I was hitting, which is part of the game. But he was a nice guy. Um, so, shout out to anyone who's nice. Nice people are nice. That's that's the energy level we're at. We need a we need a coffee. Oh, Starbucks is closed. That's 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 where we're heading. All right. Um, I will try to keep more informed um, and maybe some more details. I'll probably do a post. I'm actually blogging really well right now, so I think we will have a um, full-on post edit um, back when we get home um, with more in-depth uh, things. But right now we're doing all right. We're going to keep moving forward. See you next round. Plus three. All right, we're still at the end of round seven. Um, I don't really like the last cut. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. But it was super space burning. So anyway, um, we have pretzel and Pepsi. They get to the last two rounds. Um, we are playing to round nine. Um, looks like for sure because um, yeah, we are definitely playing to round nine because um, we just need to go one one to get points or two zero to get um, day two. So um, let's do either one of those things. Um, 
in case I do take, yeah, let's take that cut out. Let's, let's make this the new cut. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna cut that cut out. Um, don't worry about it, maybe I'll throw it at the end. Anyway, focus. Um, we're gonna drink this Pepsi, eat this Auntie Anne's. We played against Malamar last round. Um, his Malamar did Malamar things, um, which code for, it bricked really hard. He's a really nice guy. Um, kind of harass, feels bad seeing that, but unfortunately, both games he, he bricked and um, game two, I was not doing great, but I was doing better than he was, and that's all you need, really. Um, but game one, I was, I, game one, I popped off, he bricked, he scooped pretty early, game two, we kind of played it out, we both kind of passed a couple times, and then, um, eventually, uh, my deck just kind of, he, he can never get going, can never get Mallys up, and he only got, he only got one Malamar up though, in two games, so, it's a shame, but, um, we are looking pretty alright at four, two, and one, I'm trying to get one more win. Or two more wins. Either one is okay by me. Um, we're gonna go inside now, eat this pretzel, drink this Pepsi, and hit those last two rounds super hard. We're here, look, we're in for a long night. See you, team. Yeah. Just something in the background. Some chill. Yeah, I'm, I'm also probably gonna um, break out the video game. <laughs> Watch play video game until I pass out. Sword and shield. All right. Um, first, before we get into the fun stuff, um, we'll do the boring. Um, regional suck. Don't play Pokemon. Everyone quit. Okay, cool. Uh, we were back at the uh, Airbnb, we all whiff points, everyone in the group whiff points. We missed our, missed our winning points, but that's okay. There's a couple of people that we know on May Day 2, that's really cool. Good luck to everyone moving forward. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the day vlog, whatever. We'll do matchup spreads and more in-depth stuff back at home. But for now, it's a regional. San Diego's fun. We have one more day to have fun, so we're gonna make the best Cody's of it. Channel, Pokemon TCG Daily, the best content. Hello, Follow Pokemon hello. TCG Daily, hello, please. Welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily. That's my. Film. Well, make, make more videos, scrub. Yeah, I do. Hey. All right, one th one thousand follows, and he will start making videos every day again. When he gets one thousand subscribers, sure. all all fifteen of you that subscribe to me, go go subscribe to him. <laughs> all right, let's. I guess I'm not connecting these videos, but we'll end this one and we'll do something fun that won't be posted at the same time, but whatever. Alright, as you can see here, um, we are not at the apartment, or bleh, we are not at uh, the Airbnb, we are at the apartment, um, and we are at the apartment um, quite a bit later. Um, and I'm losing my voice a little bit, of course I finally decided to start working on videos when I was getting sick, so I apologize, but um... Yeah, um, I won't give an exact time frame, but it's been a while, um, as the lol in videos, by the time this goes up, is obvious. Well, when this goes up, there'll be constant videos. Anyway, there was a little break of a couple weeks of no videos, and um, so I just kind of, after the regional, it just was kind of in a little bit of a funk, and had a lot of post-holiday stuff going on, a lot of holiday, pre-holiday stuff. Well, I am a mess, and I didn't write a script. Um, we'll get to that one day. But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to wrap up the vlog. Um, it's been over over a month, um, almost a month, so I don't really know exactly everything I played. Um, I don't even have the deck together anymore to do uh, to show you the whole deck and talk about all my matchups, um, exact matchup spreads. Um, but I played a fairly standard um, Mewtwo uh, list, just your kind of basic, all all the same Pokemon that everyone plays. Just I was just playing just um, fire and psychics or bleh, fire and rainbows and weakness card, um, and that was it. Um, the only kind of different thing I was playing was Jirachi GX. I know that some Malamar were running Faba, and so and they weren't running the Mimikyu as much. They build like Mimikyu, so I thought that was a worthwhile and it was kind of interesting um, for the mirror if I couldn't get my hands on a weakness guard just to kind of save face. Um, which, it actually got in the way, um, awful play, not awful, but definitely something I would, it was the one card I would change out, the one card I tried different, the one card I would definitely change out, um, honestly, but I was adding a second weakness card, I started with it a lot, considering having one, only one of, and a bunch of, um, bunch of Mewtwo's, bunch of dr other Jirachi's, just other things, um, surprisingly, I started with it in a lot of games, especially the Mirror, um, which I played the Mirror three times, but, um, all in all, we're just going to run through a quick um, rundown because I've already watched all the videos I took, which is not bad for me considering uh, I did miss a couple rounds, um, so, and it wasn't super clear in the end. So, round one, we played against a 
um, the mirror, um, the Mewtwo, played against the Mewtwo mirror, um, really nice guy, and but was able to take it um, in two games. Um, he did, there was a bit of a misplay, do you remember this, um, where he tried to SB on Deoxys cross division um, with only five energy on play, on board, so didn't get the second effect. Um, but all in all, still a really nice guy, and the mirror's just going, the mirror's are really interesting, so, um, kitty, um, I think the mirror is kind of unique, because going first is generally better, but going second, if you are able to get a welder and get an attack, you can get a, a big three prize knockout, um, and basically just seal the game away, more or less, um, and super, super interesting, but took took the mirror round one, um, I know I blocked that, so we can skip through that, um, took, um, round two one as well against a Naga Lord, I think that's also, um, a bit of an easier matchup, um, just because with, uh, Tag Purge, um, it's really hard for the around Tag Purge, yeah, they have the Ultra Forced Karani, but, um, they just can't, the Ultra Forced Karani, you should have one, and maybe only one way to get it back, if, if that, and so, um, but those matchups, the second matchup was really close, he did almost win, um, the second matchup, if he, but, um, he need a beastiite, I remember. Or is that not beastiite? What's the beast bringer? The one that's taking more prizes. That one. He was whiffed on that. Um, so that was a big game changer there. But all in all, really um, good time and a fun guy. Um, and then round three was a doll stall. Scooped pretty early on that one. Maybe gave up too early, but I don't necessarily think I did. Uh, round one, I kind of was gonna lose. Game one, I was gonna lose, and I had to scoop to try to win. To try to win two more games, and then game two, um, I maybe could have played it out more at that point, but I just, I had to pee and I wanted to go talk to my friends, and so I just kind of scooped up on that. Um, game th so four, we tied against Baby Blounds right before lunch. They gave us round four lunch, not bad. Usually it's round three, but round four lunch isn't bad. But the way the tournament was being ran, um, I'm not here to be super negative, especially with how late it is right now. Um, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but um. For all those attending the event and people interested in the event, have probably heard um, how it was ran. It was a whole different um, website for the first time, I believe, used ever. Um, not the usual Arcanine Labs. The websites that have been used for regionals, whole new website, and it was not ran well. Um, it just took a lot of things just were taking a very long time, and um, so not not the most efficient event um so thank you of course to the event um runners because it is regardless it's an event however it was definitely the my least favorite regional i've been to as far as just how the event was structured and how it ran and the website used because arcanine labs is really good and this website they had i remember what it was called pairings online was kind of garbage but maybe it'll get better uh this is a good test i guess Anyway, um, so we tied. We were at 2-1-1, feeling pretty good at this point in the day. Um, and then I forget the exact order. I don't think I think I've missed a couple of vlogs here. Um, maybe I'm just missing in Maybe I did catch my vlogs. But um, I believe we played against uh, Guardian next um, and went up to 3-1-1. Um, we um, will take some games against Guardian, move to 3-1-1. Um, moved in pretty good shape. Um, then we hit um, ADP and just dead drew, and he just played really well. And that matchup is, I think, generally favorable for Mimu, but Choice Helmet hurts a lot. Um, and just. Um, Bukeldio um, and the Get Lost combination is not the best because it forces you to hard bench the Greninja GX, um, which you can do pretty easily. But then you waste a lot of resources having to do that, and then if you don't get three good cards, and you're just kind of dead in the water. So that's how that matchup went. Um, so we were sitting at three, two, one, um, not bad at all. Then that's when we hit a uh, Malamar um, to move up to four, two, one. Um, unfortunately, the Malamar deck uh, bricked twice, two games in a row, um, which just happened with Malamar at some point, but. Very nice deck, I do remember, um, because he had uh, all, all shiny air, all shiny inky, all shiny Malamar, all gold, um, all full art, or rainbow art, 
uh, uh, the Pokemon, like everything was super blinged. Very impressive, um, especially because he said it was his side game, that Magic was the main game, so um, I, I was impressed. I still remember that, so um, then the part where the blogging stopped and the emotions dropped and watching this blog again I had kind of brought back the, the sadness that um, we 4-2-1 just need one single win to guarantee points or basically guarantee points and then um, to win out to make day two um, we did none of those things we hit the mirror twice in a row um, I think both times was basically the exact mirror the, the rainbow heavy version um, hit that twice in a row but unfortunately it just didn't go away um, in either game um, we, went to, we went to game three both both times but um, just didn't feel super confident lost game one both the games and then won game two and both the, in rounds eight and nine and then lost um, well game round nine we would have actually tied I was able to kind of get myself in a good position to force the tie um, he played a little aggressive um, I think he turtonated and wiped all the energy off the board when he could have taken a smaller knockout with a Mewtwo and saved the turtonator. Um, but he was able to wipe all his energy off the board, so I just stranded. I can't remember what it was. Just another, if it was I stranded something, um, or he wiped both the energy off the board. So I was able to strand something um, and then um, force out a stall. A couple other things I did, but I do remember I was able to get. I think I had to get. I uh, wounded out of the active and then stranded up like a Mewtwo with no energy. And just w f conceal, um, force the tie. Um, but however, at that point, ties didn't help either one of us. Um, and he still had the. the, the <coughs> uh, uh, water. You know, a cool Rayquaza bottle. Ah, non stop little itchy there. But I guess we can show off the Quasar water bottle. A gift from a coworker for um, White Elephant. So is that ages where well, this is at the point that's been filmed, but I guess I know when this is going up, so it's obviously be after Christmas. So anyway, I don't know why that's relevant. It's a sip it's not a sip back, it's like a sippy. I'm not used to that. I'm always used to just sipping back, but that messes it up. Um, it's really weird. I've never had like a sippy cup. It's basically a sippy cup. So, anyway, um, I did decide, um, to give him the win, um, round eight instead of the tie that we, we had for sure had the tie, um, that was happening. But before we signed slips, I gave him the win because his board state was better. We didn't gentlemen's on it before the match, but, um, of course it was better. Another turner, or turn or two, he almost would have guaranteed to win. So, um, I decided to give him the win. Um, he, and he did make day two. He, he won his next game. He found me afterwards and won his next game and did day two. I don't know how he did in day two, but he made it, so that's really cool. Congrats. Um, glad I was able to help that out on, before we move on to round nine. Um, however, the gentleman, I don't know if anyone has seen this, um, post by now. Um, but I believe he posted on the K Fontaine for rank and some, I heard, but I never actually found it, but I heard he was posting around. But there's a guy next, the two tables down for me. Um, these two gentlemen got in an argument over a gentleman's agreement. They won, they made gentlemen's before the match, which if you don't know what gentlemen's is, um, gentlemen's is, you can, gentlemen agree on, um, whoever wins at the end of the, whoever, if you're going to tie, it looks like you're going to tie, whoever has the better board, whoever has the better board state or whoever is higher on prizes, whoever has more prizes, um, or has taken more prizes, um, then instead of tying, you would give that person the win. Um, but general, you can d talk about gentlemen's, you can't agree to those, however judges cannot enforce them, it is not a, it's not an enforceable thing, so your opponent can just say they're in gentlemen's and choose not to, um, which is a thing that does happen, unfortunately, but there was a guy, um, made it really distracting to play because he was throwing a screaming fit, um, because his opponent, they made a gentleman's and his opponent decided to not uphold that, um, and so I don't a hundred percent agree, but the the guy who is screaming about it, the guy who, not not not, I'm rambling it way too late, but we're gonna finish the story. Um, but the gentleman who um, was yelling at the judges was not the guy 
who didn't agree to Gentleman's. The guy who didn't agree to Gentleman's signed the, signed the tie and left. To the guy who thought that he should have had the Gentleman's and should have won, um, decided to scream at the judges. Um, I believe he got escorted out. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what happened. Um, and it was really distracting being right next to that giant yell fest, but it's, a, it's an interesting story. Um, so, if you're the guy who got escorted out, don't do that. Don't don't yell at judges. Judges are mostly volunteer. They're just there to to help know the rules. No, I'm, it's not the judge's fault that that's in the Pokemon rules. If you have a problem with the rules, bring it up with Pokemon. If you have a problem with your opponent, either I mean you need to post it on social media. There's a lot of good social media boards for Pokemon for this community. So that is the way to um, get rid of your frustrations. Not the judges. Judges are sweet, wonderful people usually. Um, anyway, last round then. So we lost that round, we just needed a win, um, and unfortunately we were not able to do it. It was a pretty good set, but um, first two games were really competitive. Last game I just bricked super hard, um, and I think he, he took a Mewtwo out. He went f um, second, uh, or he went first, because I won game two. He went first, um, took a Mewtwo out, um, turn two, so his, so the, his, his turn, turn on round two. Um, and then I took my only Mewtwo out, and then I was attacking with, like, Jump Pluff, and they didn't get another Mewtwo out, and it was just kind of, it was just kind of it from there. So, unfortunately, that is how the event ran. Um, again, so I don't have my deck together to, to break it out, but it's pretty standard Mewtwo. The Mewtwo there's Rainbow, Rainbow Energy Mewtwo, nothing fancy about it, but, um, and sorry, I don't have a more in-depth spread of matches, however, I... This is a 20 plus minute vlog, so um, if you guys liked this portion of it, um, let me know. Um, if you didn't, well, sorry, it's in the video, but um, I know I could have done it a little more concise and maybe not as late at night and as without a script and with a cold. However, um, I'm hoping to add a little more insight to how the event went, went um, and what happened. But regardless, I had a lot of fun with um, all of my friends. The Airbnb was super nice. Um, just going to a different city was a whole lot of fun. It was my first time. Um, not my first time. One of the few times um, just going, actually going out on a, on a vacation um, to a different city, to a totally different state, um, which is, was a, is, a, is a fun experience. Um, it might be the last regional of the season, unfortunately, though. We might still go to internets, but that's a discussion for another time. However, it was a lot of fun. I will definitely would like to keep doing more regionals in the future. Um, outside of Portland, and so for now, oh, we got a nice little ready nose. Good, good on the camera. All right, so for now, this is Cody with Search My Deck TCG. Signing out. Bye.